Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to show you in our tips and tricks episode how to modify what you see in Microsoft Edge when you actually open either the start page or a new tab. By default Microsoft Edge will show either a uh, kind of a, a first start page or it can actually show top sites and top sites will show you miniatures of your favorite or of the websites you go often. Uh, it could show blank page, it can show a lot of stuff, but you know what? A lot of people, um, I've had a request today actually, and I it's not the first time I had a few requests in the past few weeks about, look, I don't want to have top sites. Because the top sites is basically your sites that you go regularly. And in some cases it might be okay, but in some cases it might be kind of not that much fun. And an example I could give is, uh, say you visit, you know, adult sites. Well, if you go regularly, what's going to happen is that the top sites might actually show an adult site. And maybe you don't want people to see that. Um, another thing that it can show is websites that s simply just don't want anyone to know that you go there. So when you go into Microsoft Edge, go on the top right into the little three dots, more actions go into settings and here first of all if you don't want to have top sites right away and stuff like that you can change uh, the first option here which is open with a specific page or pages which I've used as google.ca for my Google search page or a new tab page or a start page uh, of some sort but you can also go here, open new tabs with, and here's the thing, top sites and suggested content, top sites, you just say a blank page, and that's it. That's how you'll have also tabs opening without having top sites all the time. And maybe, you know, somebody could use your browser and see websites you don't want anyone to know. So that's pretty much how you'll change that option in um, Microsoft Edge. It's simply to make sure that first of all you open with whatever you want. So here I chose a custom page which is Google and finally open new tabs with a blank page. That's the second option that I've chosen here. Once that if is done you're ready to go and you'll have that type of opening. So you can see that my opening start page is Google like promised and if I open I have what's next. I've got nothing else that shows. Uh, it's pretty much a blank page. It still has kind of a little search box there, but uh, you don't have to use it. You can just, you know, click whatever web page you want to see, and it's going to go right there to that website that you want to see. So that's pretty much how you do it, and this is how you will, you know, make sure that nobody sees without your consent or you know without you thinking about it what you're doing um, basically uh, too much it's not gonna hide anything but at least you know you don't have these top sites uh, in front of you every time you open your web browser if you have any comments questions uh, please feel free to ask if you have a request of a video you can do so and we'll try to post a video and help you we'll be helping others at the same time uh, why not subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online and we post you know many videos a day so it's a great great place if you want to learn more about Windows about technology news around PCs and Windows in general um, give us thumbs up if you like our videos you know what this helps us a lot in the ratings in YouTube so you know even if you don't leave a comment just clicking the um, thumbs up button is a nice gesture and thank you so much for being there and thank you hope we're gonna see you again on our channel Bye-bye.